If you didn't already know, a lot of Hypixel Skyblock players are actually kind of lazy. Early game and even some mid-game players don't find it worth their time to grind a certain item or mob just to unlock a single recipe. Many late-game players who have a bunch of money would rather buy a specific item off the auction house than running around looking for the items to craft it. Because of this, there are plenty of items in the auction house that sell for way more than the materials required to craft them. This means that you can make millions of coins daily just by crafting items. Before we get into this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. It's so crazy that I've already hit 75 subscribers and I can't wait to share all the fun content I have planned for in the future. Okay, let's get into the video. Item number one, teleport pads. Teleport pads are really easy to craft. In order to get a set of teleport pads, use your nether star to go to the trade menu. Then click to trade an enchanted Eye of Ender for a set of teleport pads in return. You unlock the teleport pad trade in Enderman Collection 7 after killing 15,000 Endermen. In order to unlock this trade, I suggest either zealot grinding or placing down an Enderman minion with a super compactor on it. Now let's get into the pricing. An enchanted Eye of Ender costs a little less than 6,000 coins if you buy it directly from the bazaar. If you craft it yourself but still buy the materials from the bazaar, it'll cost a little over 4,000 coins. Once you craft all the enchanted Eyes of Ender, trade them into teleport pads. Now you're ready to sell your teleport pads on the auction house. Make sure you sell them in sets of two. Because the teleport pads are only uncommon and you may only auction non-rare items at five times their NPC sell price, the highest you could sell these for is 10,000 coins. This is the price you should be selling these teleport pads at. I can guarantee they will sell, meaning that you can make over 5,000 coins of profit per set of teleport pads. Item number two, giant killer five books. So this money making method was actually suggested to me by someone who saw one of my TikToks. Their TikTok profile is on the screen right now so you can go follow them. This money making method involves crafting two giant killer four books, combining them into one giant killer five book, and then selling that giant killer five book on the auction house for a pretty large profit. You unlock the recipe to craft giant killer four books and gas collection three. In order to craft this book, you need 24 pieces of paper in eight gas tiers. The materials to craft one book is less than 250 coins, which is actually pretty cheap. After you craft two of these books, use an anvil to combine them. It shouldn't cost any experience. Now for pricing. So far, I've sold 11 Giant Killer 5 books on the auction house. 8 of those I've sold for 40k, and 3 of those I sold for 60k. I say that it's best to sell your Giant Killer 5 books for anywhere ranging from 30k to 60k. Make sure you sell them as a buy it now. Item number 3, Caffeinated Rabbit 6 Potions. You might be thinking that Rabbit 6 Potions are a pretty random thing to sell in the auction house. And they are. But let me explain why these are in such high demand and why they're so profitable. You see, a requirement for the Romeo and Juliet quests is to give Romeo a Caffeinated Rabbit 6 Potion. While these potions aren't too expensive to craft, they do take a bit of time to brew. For many people doing the Romeo and Juliet quest, it's more convenient for them to just to spend a bit more money and buy the potion straight from the auction house than stopping to craft it. You unlock the rabbit potion recipes in Raw Rabbit Collection 3. In order to craft the Rabbit 6 potion, first buy cheap coffee from the bartender. Decent coffee will also work, however it is more expensive, so it's unnecessary. These coffees will replace the awkward potion when you're brewing. Now place an enchanted rabbit's foot into the brewing stand. Once that brews in, add an enchanted glowstone block. Altogether, the material to craft the rabbit six potion should cost around 68k however you need to keep in mind that you're crafting three potions meaning that it only costs 23k per potion now for the pricing i have been able to sell rabbit six potions for 100k in the past on the auction house i suggest that you sell your potions for anywhere ranging from 80k to 120k depending on the current auction house listings this means that you should be making around 87k per potion item number four Hyper Furnaces. If you don't know what a Hyper Furnace is, they're basically furnaces that smelt items really fast. You unlock them in Cobble Collection 8. In order to craft a Hyper Furnace, draw on 8 pieces of enchanted coal with a stack of enchanted cobblestone. If you bought the materials to craft your Hyper Furnace directly from the bazaar, then crafting a Hyper Furnace should cost you a little less than 69,000 coins. Now let's talk about how much the Hyper Furnace should be sold for on the auction house. In the past, I've sold Hyper Furnaces for up to 130k. However, the price of the Hyper Furnace will fluctuate from day to day. I suggest selling your Hyper Furnace for anywhere from 100k to 150k. However, I do want to point out that while the Hyper Furnaces will sell, they aren't in crazy high demand. Therefore, I don't suggest you sell too many of them at once. Selling Hyper Furnaces on the auction house should make you anywhere from 30k to 80k profit. Item number five. Mystical Mushroom Soup. This is definitely my favorite item on the list. As you probably already know, Mystical Mushroom Soup grants you 200 minutes of flight on your personal Skyblock Island. The soups are really useful and are always in high demand considering that most people don't have the recipe for them unlocked yet. You unlock the Mystical Mushroom Soup recipe in Mushroom Collection 7 after breaking 10,000 Mushroom Minions. 
It might sound like an overwhelming number, but if you put a super compactor on your mushroom minion, you'll unlock the collection in no time. In order to craft a mystical mushroom soup, you need one enchanted glowstone dust, one enchanted red mushroom, one enchanted brown mushroom, and one enchanted redstone dust, and a bowl. Altogether, the materials I've bought from the bazaar are a little less than 5,000 coins. It is very important that you have a layout right when crafting. Because people are constantly buying mystical mushroom soups off the auction house, the prices of soups can change dramatically throughout the day. They can sell for anywhere from 11k to 20k depending on what time of the day it is. While I normally sell my mushroom soups for around 16k, it is important to realize that unlike other items, mushroom soups will sell very fast, meaning that you can put a bunch of them up on the auction house at one time without worrying about whether or not they will sell. In all, you should be able to make around 7k to 15k profit per soup sold. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you guys would like to see a part 2 to this video but with talismans, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if any of these money-making methods worked for you. I hope you guys all had an amazing winter break, and I'm wishing you guys all an amazing 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye!